So, uh, something I was thinking about today, and I wanted to share with you, is taking chances. I want to just share this with you because over the weekend, I literally decided that uh, I've gotten to the point in my life now where I'm ready to take fears on, and I'm ready to challenge myself. And it doesn't just happen overnight. It's taken a couple of years now of just really pushing myself and constantly pushing myself outside of this comfort barrier. And if you if you work at something for a long period of time, a year, two years, five years, build up your immunity and your excitement to challenge these fears and to conquer them. And for me, that fear has been publicly speaking on a massive scale. Over the weekend here, I've just I've gotten myself to the point where in my mind I want to welcome that fear. I want to get excited about that because that is my ticket to the next level. That's my ticket out of the life that I've had and that I'm working towards. How am I doing that? Now for myself, sitting down, drafting letters to all of the schools, high schools, in a 100 mile radius of me. Writing them, telling them I have a story, I want to share it with their students. Can I come for free and talk to their student body? Now there's some that are going to be far enough away if they accept. Yes, I'm going to say, can you give me $20? Can you give me $25 for fuel? Just so that I'm not out to fuel, but I will not charge you anything to come in your door and speak. You've got to start somewhere. You've got to start small steps. If you've got to do something for free for a while, do it. Yes, you eventually have to start making money. Whatever your endeavor is, whatever your entrepreneurship is, you've got to start making money at some point. But sometimes to get your foot in the door, you've got to grit just a little harder, do something for free, get some base underneath of you, get you a foundation, get references, get videos, get pictures, Get excerpts and stuff from things that you've done to build your credibility. You know, build some equity in your savings and yourself. And that's what I've started doing. And I, I've got on social media and I've started posting, hey, I want to come speak. And I don't have it all figured out. I don't have every speech planned out. I don't have hours and hours yet working on it. I've got outlines. But that's what I'm working on. And... Part of the process is just saying, enough's enough, and I'm going to do it. I am going to do it, and that's what I'm going to do. And it doesn't have to be speaking for you or writing. I mean, it can be starting your own business. It can be going back to college, you know, and maybe you're not in your 20s anymore. Maybe that scares you. Go to college. I can guarantee you're going to go and you're going to find somebody older than you there, and that's going to make a world of difference. Never be afraid to do anything. I mean, you might be wanting to start your own business. You know, don't be afraid. Get out there. Look at your competition. See what they're doing. See what they're not doing. Check out the markets. Check out the field. See what your line of credit is. See all the possibilities that you've got. What inspires you? What doesn't inspire you? Find out what customers are wanting and aren't wanting. And then take, take the faith leap and just go. Because there's a saying that, you know, at the end of life, you should always be glad that you tried and maybe didn't succeed than have the regret of not trying. Because the truth is, a failure is just a way to go back to the drawing board and retweak it. It doesn't mean that you're done. It doesn't mean that you're over with. I mean, my gosh, if the Wright brothers had quit the first time they tried the airplane, imagine how different the world would be. So, failure is always an opportunity to go back to the drawing board or just make a shift. Um... You know, for me, with some of my speaking engagements, what I'm thinking about doing is handing out flyers or surveys to the school after I'm done and uh, offering to come back and pick them up and just ask, what were some things maybe they liked about it? What's some things they didn't like about it? Um, you know, uh, you know, always to better myself. Five years ago, I couldn't have done this. Ten years ago, I couldn't have been making this video. Um, I would have been too terrified. <laughs> But when we keep working towards something, we build up equity in our own inner bank to draw against when the times are tough. 
there's no hole that we can't dig out of if we shovel hard enough and we believe in ourselves enough. We have faith enough and can keep driving and grinding. That is what I believe our forefathers meant when they talked about the pursuit of happiness. See, I believe 100%, I believe we were meant to live this life. We weren't meant to just exist. I don't believe that God gave us this life and this body to just merely wake up every day and just be grateful like it was an accident. Oh my gosh, I woke up. How wonderful. You ought to wake up and say yes. Even if it's not the best day, say yes. Another day to suck that air, to make that mark, to chase that dream. And that's what I'm doing. Am I scared? You bet I am. Am I afraid I'm going to get out in front of a bunch of high school kids and I'm going to not know what to say? Yes. That's when I'm going to have to learn to laugh at myself and keep growing. Let the kids see that we don't always have it together. Am I sitting in here thinking, oh my gosh, look at, look at the, the people who do this thing for a living. Look at how great they are. Some of the amazing speakers that we have. I'm not going to let myself get put down by my own inner thoughts of saying, well, you're not him or you're not her. No, I'm me. And I like me. So what I want to do is go out there and do the very best I can and impact. Because no matter what, if I go out and I impact even one person in a crowd with the intensity that I want to, I've done my job. I've taken my story and inspired someone else who can relate to it. To go out and do it. So my question for you is basically kind of a call to action tonight. What is your pursuit of happiness? What does it consist of? Take the time and really think about it. What are you, what are you happy with? What are you not happy with? Are you willing to push yourself? Ask yourself these questions over the next day or two. Find out what you're really made of. I think you're really going to surprise yourself, but you're going to start thinking of some things that maybe you're not as afraid of as you used to be. Surround yourself with people who are like-minded. Get on Yahoo groups. Get on Facebook groups. Get into Instagram. Start following people who are influential. I've done that, and I said I've made uh, personal connections with people who are doing this for a living, and they're all telling me the same thing. I've got a story, and it can be told. So do you. So whatever your day you're watching this, I hope that this has been a great week uh, for me. This is you know, getting ready to start a new week. Go out there and make it happen. Seven days of opportunity. So go out there and find your own pursuit of happiness. Take care. Bye.